we're looking down at the uh, Collegiate Church of St. Bernard. It was damaged by a number of fires throughout the various wars that have been raged in Europe, particularly the wars of the religion. It was heavily damaged throughout that period. It was a slow reconstruction between 1652 and 1720. And then during the French Revolution, part of the 11th century Romanesque cluster and the old bell tower were sold off privately to raise a few funds. The Aglise Saint Martin, which is actually, was originally built using predominantly pebbles at the base of that building before it was restored later on, fairly recently in fact, just in the last hundred years or so. Alexander territory that they're racing through at the moment or the town that they're racing through in the early part of the 20th century the inhabitants of this town were plagued by a group of gangsters that were known as the coiffeurs de la drome and they were criminals who broke into people's homes it's quite a sad story actually and burnt their feet in the fireplace to get them to confess to where their hidden jewels were and their savings and their crimes ended up resulting in some 18 deaths and resulted in a special task force to bring them to heal which was known as the tiger brigades the Church of St. Prix that we're looking across at the moment is one of the younger churches in this area. It was actually built across a 10-year period between 1892 and 1920, and it uses white stones that are known as St. Paul stones. This chateau that we're now looking down upon, the Montagnard, was built in the late 15th century. It was owned by a family for a long period until it went across to the Montagnard family in around about 1843. It's still owned within that family, but the gardens are all that you can actually go in to see, and they're only open on annual school visit days. As we look down upon Chablou and the Saint-Jean, the church that was completed back in 1891 in a neo-Gothic style, and it was then later renovated a little bit further back in 1903. Just a quick glimpse down there, that was the Cathedral of Saint Apollinaire. And uh, just looking down at that cathedral, it's one of Valence's oldest monuments. It was first consecrated back in 1095 under the triple names of the saints of Cyprian, Cornille and Apollinaire. So the Chateau of Montelégier is actually a beautiful chateau. Built back in the 15th century, it, uh, it really is a magnificent fortified town. Uh, the last owners, in fact, were the Count of Montlégier, who devoted all of their efforts to restoring and enhancing it to the way it's done, it looks today. So this is a really Roman area. You can see some magnificent uh, towns here, which are spread a little bit. Uh, La Volte sur Rhône, Chateau de Volte sur Rhône. Yeah, that was built uh, early in the 14th century, but it was uh, added onto in the 16th and 17th century and it's been listed in France as uh, one of its historical monuments. It uh, has a commanding view over the old town, and originally it was one of the flagships of all of these castles in the Ardèche. Well, we're going to have to work on this one, Paul, because I think that indeed, as we look here at the St. Thomas Church here in the town of Priva, uh, it's, uh, it's a perfect finish for somebody like Tor Hushoft. If he gets points, then he'll put that one in the bag too. The funny thing about uh, Privafil is they've got three churches in the town which have exactly the same name as uh, the Church of uh, St. Thomas. This one uh, is a church that was built in the 17th century. Looking down there at the uh, Chateau of Aubenas, uh, just uh, perched on the hill above the finishing line. We're actually a fair way away from the, the Chateau there. We're on the other side of town. And this again is one of the historical monuments uh, in France which is listed.